day two of um, a week's worth of dinners. <laughs> I'm totally leaving it in. I'm going to do a week of dinners starting tonight, Monday night. And if you watched my last video, which was a grocery haul, my first ever YouTube grocery haul, I was really proud of myself for doing something new. <laughs> um, I talked about our skillet lasagna that uh, we have, and it is definitely, it's a staple. It's a favorite recipe. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So tonight we're making, I'm making, so now ain't no we happening up in here. Uh, I'm making skillet lasagna. I'll put the link to the original recipe to give them full credit, because it's, it's not my recipe. All right, well, let's go make some lasagna. Say hi, Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Before I cook this lasagna, I want to show you what I made earlier. We have date bars with a, an oat crumble. So I'm really excited. They're cooling right now. So yeah. We got some ground beef. I'm just giving you an idea of my kitchen right now. I just turned the camera around. It is somewhat clean. I've got a lot of dishes going. Got my laptop going, which uh, has my recipe on it. I've been doing that now instead of looking at it on my phone because I just find it much easier. And a semi-clean stove. Um, yeah, I need a vacuum. But I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and then we're gonna make some lasagna. All right, I'm gonna start with some ground beef. Um, some marinara. I'm trying a new one that we've not had before because uh, it, it's never been in the store that I buy it at. And I like Mir Glen because it has no added sugar. Uh, so two jars of that, uh, some minced garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. I've got an onion. Um, this calls for broken lasagna noodles. I use all kinds of different pasta. And right now I'm using the pepper dell that I break up into pieces because it's kind of lasagna noodle-like. It's a flat noodle, but you can use any pasta in this recipe. Still call it lasagna. I don't care. Go wild. Have a blast. Uh, Parmesan, which if you watch my grocery haul, you know that I use this coastal aged cheddar um, in, in place of Parmesan and it is just like Parmesan. It's a really dry, super sharp um, cheese. It's amazing. So Parmesan, um, cottage cheese, it calls for ricotta, but I use cottage cheese in mine and I like it much better. And then spinach, which the recipe that I'm gonna link below does not call for spinach, but I do put spinach in my skillet lasagna. And then a great big giant skillet for the Skillet lasagna. All right, I'm gonna turn my fan on. Oh, and, well, here, I'll just come up here. Olive oil. <laughs> it's time to get the olive oil out. So I'm just sauteing the onion. I'm gonna let that get soft. And I apologize, I don't have anybody helping me film this. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally just cooking and filming at the same time. Um, is that a super talent? Like, can I win a medal for that? Probably not. It's actually not that big of a skill set. I don't know, I think it is. Uh, but any of you fellow YouTubers, if you watch this, I would love some tips on what you do when your husbands, wives, partners, friends, neighbors, 
dogs and cats are not holding the camera for you or filming. I actually have a tripod. I have multiple tripods. I'm using one right now, a handheld tripod. But I feel like short of turning my kitchen into a studio, which I do have a podcast studio here at the house uh, for one of the other shows that I do. I feel like short, though, of like setting every room up or at least the kitchen up for filming. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. This just in. We got eggs. 25 eggs today. 25 eggs today. That is Brian's arm. <laughs> Okay, and another. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to show. He's literally, he's bringing them in his shirt. That, that is dedication right there, folks. He's bringing the eggs in the house in his shirt. He just got home from work. All right, I have ground beef over here in the skillet. I'm gonna hire a cameraman so I can actually cook and film at the same time. And let's put some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning and garlic in here. Some of the videos that I just took were actually videos that I didn't take because I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. And when I thought I wasn't recording, I was recording. So I don't know what I captured of the making of this fantastic dish right here. <gasps> yeah, yum, nom, nom, nom. Um, but we'll see in editing if I can salvage. <laughs> something for you to see. So if you missed half of this, um, that's because apparently I am inept at recording on this camera. Um, but you'll still get to see the finished product, I hope. And if, thanks to Sean for catching my faux pas. I have no idea why that happened. Can I blame it on age? Not really. I'm pretty tech savvy. So yeah, we're going to laugh and move on. got to see this um, this thing right here. We call this paying the cheese tax. If I have cheese anywhere in this, aha, <laughs> uh -huh, being a good boy. No, hold. No, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Go ahead. Good boy. Good boy. Uh-oh. We have a second cheese tax that needs to be paid. All right.
So this is gonna cook until all the cheese is melted. Oh my goodness, yum. Nom, nom. So good, so good. Meanwhile, over here, date bars. I just cut them and they look so good. It is just about done. The lighting is terrible, so I apologize for that. But that cheese is super gooey and melted on top. And that's what we're looking for. Just a super gooey, melty cheese. Amazing. Oh, that looks so good. So good. Here, let me get a shot in there so we can see kind of what it looks like. Yeah. All layered and yummy. Okay, this is, uh, what was that? <laughs> I might edit that out, but I don't know if you heard that, but that was Brian doing, being weird. I don't know what he was singing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Take two. So this is day two of um, a week's worth of dinners. <laughs> I'm totally leaving that in. <laughs> I'm totally leaving that in. Okay. Um, <laughs> take three. Well, that was a real, that was really close too. Not that you guys wanted to be this close to me. Let me hold this out a little bit. Wow. Um, so day two of this particular video is <laughs> gonna be interesting. Um, so I'm doing a week's worth of dinners um, on the farm here at uh, Highland Cackle. And uh, yesterday was Monday and we did skillet lasagna and today is actually in another video. Today is Sean's birthday. And we took him out to one of his favorite um, places. It's like a breakfasty brunch place called First Watch. So I didn't plan my, my dinners very well because we had breakfast at First Watch earlier today. And now we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. But that's because Brian was home today and we have leftovers, so he didn't take leftovers, and we have leftovers from last night that he can take in his lunch tomorrow, and I was gonna do breakfast for dinner one day this week, so I thought, well, I'll do it tonight, because then he'll have leftovers to take to work tomorrow, and we don't have leftovers when we do breakfast. So that was a long way of just explaining why I'm doing breakfast for dinner, and nobody cares, but it's gonna be good. So we're gonna do, um, we do it a little differently different times. I think I'm gonna do cheesy scrambled eggs tonight because we haven't had those in a while. And my people love the cheesy scrambled. And then we're gonna do, um, of course, sourdough pancakes. So we make pancakes, um, I do sourdough starter. Maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. And um, so we do sourdough pancakes. And then we're gonna do some sausage, smoked sausage, which is local. There's a farmer here um, in the next county over that we get bacon and sausage from. Amazing, it's, it's, it's the best. It's absolutely the best. So that's what we're doing uh, for dinner. I'm gonna put two cups of starter in this measuring bowl and I'm gonna mix everything up in this measuring bowl. And that's all that it takes for one recipe is this two cups of starter and then eggs, butter, honey, salt, baking soda, but there's no additional flour or anything like that. And these are the best pancakes we have ever had. They're our absolute favorite. They can sometimes, depending on your starter, they can be a little thin and they would be perfect to make crepes with. I haven't done that yet, but they'd be really good for crepes. And then Sometimes they're thicker than others. It just kind of depends on what your starter's doing. 
that day. And I'm gonna try to link all of these recipes in this uh, from this week's worth of videos um, down in the description. Our channel is still kind of new, so it may not let me link a video yet, <laughs> but I will put info on where you can find these recipes. This one is actually from Farmhouse on Boone, and she is a fantastic uh, vlogger, and she does all kinds of stuff. And so this is her pancake recipe. I'm gonna just get some things together. I'm gonna melt some butter, because I gotta put some butter in here. Uh, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put two eggs. I'm gonna put a quarter cup of melted butter, unsalted. Uh, two tablespoons of honey are gonna go in here as well. And then at the very end, I'm gonna put salt and baking soda and it's gonna foam up. It's gonna get get really huge. It's gonna rise and get really foamy. And that's when I'll put it on the, the griddle. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my griddle. So this is my Le Creuset. However, I always forget how to say that. <laughs> um, griddle that I put on the gas stove. So I'm gonna heat up my griddle. Um, I'm gonna heat up the oven because I'm gonna slice the sausage. So here's what's left of our current roll of smoked sausage. I'm gonna peel the casing off. I'm gonna slice it up. And I'm gonna put it in a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna bake it in the oven because it's less mess, less grease, and it tastes wonderful and it cooks great. And then I don't have to fool with another pan on the stove. And oh, by the way, so the date bars were a huge hit. And I don't even know if I showed you what they look like on the inside. Oh, they were just, I want one right now. So I have a tiny bit of this Mexican blend, like the tiniest bit. So I'm just gonna throw that in there because let's use it up. Um, I'm gonna use some Dubliner, Kerrygold Dubliner cheddar. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Coastal, which you will see, you saw me use last night. You'll see me use this a lot. You still see it in every grocery haul. I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, in there. And then oh, I have some organic Gouda. This stuff is so good and I, Gouda is so melty. So we're gonna use some of that. So I'm gonna shred some cheeses and get it ready to put on the cheesy eggs. Yum, nom, nom, nom.
So I have never seen a dog love pancakes as much as Charlie. <laughs> Do you want a pancake? <sighs> there you go. For Wednesday's dinner, um, I am going crock pot today. So I'm just gonna, I'm coming on here a little early. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I'm doing. I'm making this up. This is a recipe that a really good friend of mine came up with on the spot when we were shopping one day. <laughs> and so um, it sounded really good. And we were both like, hey, that sounds good. So I'm just gonna, for ease and convenience, um, Wednesdays are really busy days. For us here so i am going to throw some chicken in the crock pot uh, with some salsa and some diced tomatoes um, i happen to have some tomato sauce in the fridge that i need to use i need to get rid of that so i'm gonna uh, throw chicken uh, salsa i may grab some more i'm gonna do the rest of what's in here and may go open another jar of salsa and put a little bit more in there with some diced tomatoes uh, some spices and seasonings. Um, my spice cabinet is really mess, like messy right now, so just excuse that. I may put some Southwest taco seasoning in here. I think I might do that. Maybe some other, like oregano. Let's see. Let's get out some salt. And this is pepper, not cumin. Um, I may do some fresh garlic from the fridge and not the powdered garlic. Ah! Or I may do some cumin, I don't know. Um, let's do some oregano, oregano. Um, I don't know if I wanna do Italian seasoning. I think oregano is good enough. Okay, we'll grab some garlic out. Love to do gar fresh garlic and things. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of play around with it and just throw a bunch of stuff in here in this crock pot and then uh, let it cook for about four hours or so. Just let it cook till the chicken is done and it's tender. Then I'm gonna come in after that and I'm gonna, of course, shred it up in the sauce that it makes. And I'm gonna add some cream cheese. And I'm thinking about adding some 
black beans. Yeah, like a can of black beans. And I also have uh, some black beans and some pinto beans. Not pinto beans, what are they? Maybe they are pinto beans left over from something else that I did. Oh, from the taco bowls. May throw those in there and I've got these. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna serve it with a salad. But what sounded really good to me was basically the chicken and the salsa. This is what it started out with. <laughs> My friend was like, just throw some chicken and salsa in the crock pot and then add some a block of cream cheese. And I was like, um, that sounds amazing. So then probably what I will do um, at the very end, I'll put the cream cheese in last after everything is cooked and let it get creamy and melt and gooey and all of that. I'll add the beans last. The cream cheese and the beans will go last. And, oh, I'll probably do some shredded cheddar on top, maybe. Something like that. So, that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this in the crock pot, and we'll check back with it at each stage. I'm going to be on the go today, so I'm going to be gone running errands, and this is going to work for me in the crock pot while I'm gone. And um, as you can see, the date bars are slowly disappearing. They are so so good. I just had one um, for breakfast. Don't tell anybody. Welcome to Thursday's dinner. So I am attempting to, because I have no time <laughs> to be somewhere tonight. I am attempting to make chicken fettuccine Alfredo, which is one of my family's favorites. So I'm gonna throw my apron on, because I mean, I ain't trying to be getting grease, because I will. I, I will get grease. I will have everything all over me. I will be a hot mess in like two seconds. I'm gonna put my apron on, I'm gonna gather some stuff, and I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing. If for some reason you want to follow me on Pinterest, uh, this would be my Pinterest account here. And I'm going to scroll down to dinners and dishes. Chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Um, oh my word. I love this recipe. It's from saltandlavender.com. So you should be able to go on uh, Pinterest and find this easily. Again, I will put it down at the bottom. This is not call for uh, mushrooms, but just so you know, as it every almost every recipe that you will ever see me do, I tweak it, I adapt it, I make it my own, I do my own thing. I have a few tweaks to this one, so I'm showing you hers on here. I have a few tweaks that I make, so you know, follow hers to a T or I'll tell you what I do. Um, I don't usually keep heavy whipping cream on hand. So I'm gonna use, she calls for a half a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna use a whole block of cream cheese and I'm gonna use um, whole milk in place of the cream. And the extra cream cheese will um, make up for the lack of fat in the whole milk will make up for me using milk, which has uh, more water than cream does instead of the cream. So that's just, um, I don't know if you can see that, that she uses um, a cup of cream and she only uses four ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna use, like I said, a whole block. I'm gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese and a cup of whole milk. I do this all the time and I've not had a problem. Um, she also calls for a quarter cup of chicken broth. I don't always have chicken broth on hand. There's gonna be some chicken juices in the skillet. I am not gonna drain those. 
Um, and I will also use um, white wine. So I, whenever a recipe calls for beef broth, if I don't have it, I'm gonna use a combination of red wine, water, soy sauce, some seasonings, that sort of thing. I kind of just uh, wing it on the fly. So since this is just a quarter cup, I could actually do a quarter cup of wine or I could do, just do a, you know, a couple splashes of the white wine. If it's for this, for chicken broth, you want the white wine. I could do a couple splashes of white wine and add some water or something in there, but I'm just gonna do a quarter cup of white wine.
Okay, so we just recorded a video telling you what we're going to do. Yeah. And apparently I had it in slow-mo. It's so corrupted. It's not in slow-mo now, is it? Okay, so anyway. <laughs> uh, so I just recorded that in slow motion. Oh, doggy and boy. Okay, so uh, I'm not, the, here's the short version of what I said already, because now I'm saying it again, because... I messed up the first video. I'm not cooking tonight. We have plenty of leftovers. We're meeting some friends at the coffee shop to hang out. Uh, we ate all the date bars because they're super awesome and delicious. And now we're gonna make some more because he wants some more. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I want some more too. They're awesome, they're amazing. They're on my Pinterest board, Brownies and Bars. Uh, you can find it there or I'll link it in the description if YouTube lets me do links yet. If not, I'll come back later and put them in when I'm allowed to do links because our channel is still very new. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Date bars are delicious. We're going to make some. So let's get started. I've got two and a half cups of dates here and I'm just going to chop them up. And I mean, there's no fancy way. I'm just going to split them in half and then I'm just going to do this number. There you go. Pretty simple. I'm going to do the whole bowl like that. Split it in half. Chop it like that. And then I'm going to put them in a saucepan. Uh, if you like uh, Sean's cameraman ability, let him know in the comments, please, because he is learning uh, some camera skills, learning how to hold a camera, learning how to uh, get different shots and how to look at different shots, how to gauge what he's doing. It's very educational. It's fun. I think he enjoys it a little bit. You enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy this. I'm going to pour a cup of filtered water, or we use the Berkey water, into a pan of chopped dates, local honey. I have not had time to clean today, so do not pay attention to the grease on the stove. You see nothing. Hey, we. You see nothing. <laughs> sometimes we all. Ha, don't, sometimes we don't have an opportunity to clean. I have not vacuumed or cleaned the kitchen today. I have done the dishes, and I did fold towels in the laundry. This is one of my favorite brands to buy from One Degree Organics. You can scan this code and see exactly where your product came from. And everything that they have is tested specifically for glyphosate. So yes, it's organic, it's non-GMO project verified, which means that it shouldn't have glyphosate, but there's always blowover on different farms. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe I'll do a video on it later, um, but definitely do some research on it. But they test all of their products and they have um, their products are certified glyphosate free. So. They're fantastic, but yeah, you can see, you can scan the code and see like the, the farm that it came from, the farmers. Um, they'll even have a little bit of story on the back. Um, they're just a fantastic company.
it's Saturday and I just got home from a bridal shower um, and I thought, well, I'm eating a date bar or fogo. Probably shouldn't film and eat, but I'm starving. I thought since I didn't do dinner last night and made these, which are amazing, that I would um, film tonight's dinner. I don't always cook on Saturdays. In fact, half the time I don't cook on Saturdays. We just do leftovers, every man for himself. But I think I'm gonna make the million dollar chicken tonight. Um, I've talked about it a couple times in some videos and we haven't had it in a while and it's so good. And then that way we have dinner. My oldest son Connor is gonna be getting up for work. He's gonna want something to eat. So um, we'll have some, we'll have some yummy dinner and then I'll just do a regular brunch food tomorrow. Cause on Sundays we usually do like brunchy stuff, but these date bars are so good. Okay. So, um, I think we may need an intervention of some sort with these date bars. <laughs> We're all eating. Well, Connor's not eating them as much, but three of us are eating them now. And I think we have a problem. They are so good. All right, I am gonna grab some chicken out of the fridge. I need to clean my fridge. All right, raise your hand if your stainless steel looks like this, even right after you clean it because it takes two seconds for it to smudge again. I don't know why we bother. It looks nice though. Um, okay, pack of chicken, woo! So I'm gonna take uh, the chicken out of its package and put it in, um, I have another, I have a stoneware that I use, it's similar to this. Um, it's got a broken handle, but it's great for cooking chicken. So I need to cook the chicken first. So I'm gonna spray this pan. I'm gonna take the chicken breasts out of their package and just put them in the pan. Um, a little salt and pepper, just, you know, maybe a little garlic powder, whatever. Just kind of season them a little bit lightly, however you like. And then I'm gonna pop that in the oven, uh, 350 for 45 minutes, cover it in aluminum foil. And then that's how I'm gonna cook the chicken. You could grill it, you could buy some rotisserie, you can do whatever. I have sprinkled um, these chicken breasts with a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. So that's all you gotta do. Season them up, put them in your dish. I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil I'm gonna bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Just took it out of the oven and, oh, it's hot. Do not try this at home, folks. Skilled aluminum foil operator at your service. Mm, steam as it billows from the pan. Dun, 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 dun. Get a look at those chickens. Do I have, oh, I don't have any cream cheese. Oh man, okay, so that's not to fear. I'm gonna replace it with something else. So cream cheese is going to thicken. It's gonna be like a, a thickener. It's gonna be really melty. Let me figure this out but I'm going to use, oh, I, ha, I know what I'm gonna do. I have, haha, -ha, I've done this before. See, listen, you have to get creative in the kitchen. I have, here it is, I have some goat cheese. And goat cheese is, even though the flavor is a little different, it's tangy like cream cheese. Um, and it's really soft and creamy and melty like cream cheese. It almost does the exact same thing. It pretty much does the exact same thing that the cream cheese will do. So I did turn the light on and it looks so much better filming in here. Um, I'm currently snacking on the remains in the bag of pretzel chips. I love these things, they are so good. Um, calories do not count on the weekend. It's Saturday, right? So we're good, but this is all that was left in the bottom of the bag. So it's got all the salty pieces, so yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm misbehaving on Saturday. All right, I got everything out. Um, all this stuff. 
This is what we're doing. This is what my videos are now reduced to. Me snacking, cooking. I don't even know if you guys are paying attention. This is the pan I'm gonna use. I've already sprayed it. So it's uh, smaller than a 13 by nine, larger than a nine by nine, obviously. So I don't know what size this is. Um, this is a two and a half quart. So I've got the chicken in here. I've chopped it up. Didn't feel like I needed to show you that. The cream cheese slash goat cheese, cottage cheese, sour cream, cream of chicken soup, garlic powder. I put some salt and pepper, even though it didn't call for that um, in there, and some salt and pepper. And yeah, that's it. I'm just, I'm reading the recipe while I tell you this to make sure I got everything in there. And now I'm just mixing it up now. So it's not, um, it's not gorgeous. <laughs> it just doesn't look, you know, exciting, but it will. Oh, but it will taste marvelous. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. I feel like, because I, I change recipes so odd, like I, I take a recipe and then I just do what I want to with it. Recipes are more like guidelines to me. And then I just do my own thing. I'm pretty sure the last time I made this one that I added cheese to it, like shredded cheese. So let's do that. I'm gonna shred up some of the Kerrygold cheddar and I'm gonna throw it in there because doesn't that sound great? Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna shred some cheddar. I'm gonna get this all put in the thing and then I'm gonna start crushing up my Ritz crackers, putting some butter on them. It's gonna be good. Oh, in lieu of Ritz crackers, um, and I don't always have them or the, this is what I use. So I don't always, I don't keep these in stock. Kroger gives me uh, coupons where I can get a free box of crackers and then that's when I, <laughs> when I get this. So typically what I will do when I don't have crackers, which is most of the time, is I use breadcrumbs and I make my own. I take them with my sprouted grain bread. I just um, pop it in my Ninja, blend it up, and I keep it in the freezer. And then I just pull them out, use what I need, and I'll put the butter on them just like you do the Ritz crackers. So that's, uh, that's what I do to top a casserole. So I just shredded the rest of a block that I already had open this is the the rest of it and um, I think what I'm gonna do is just put a decent amount on the inside and then the rest of this I'm probably just gonna sprinkle on the very top Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. And let me know, please let me know in the comments if you make any of these recipes. Again, they're linked down below. Let me know what you think. So I'm eating in the dark, editing a video for the channel. And I just had to, I had to come on and tell you this million dollar chicken <coughs> casserole is slamming. My word, y'all. 
go make this casserole. I can't eat and hold the camera at the same time, but seriously. <coughs> so, so good. Mm -hmm.